Hello everyone, welcome to yoga class, Yoga with Dr. Doris. How are you today? How do you feel today? And do you drink enough water today? And are you ready to practice some yoga with everybody? At this a beautiful virtual place? Alright, so let's start it off with a child pose balasana. Spread your knees widely on the edge of the mat and bring your toes together and sit back on your heels. And forehead is on the mat. Inhale. Open mouth and exhale. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. Gentle seal your lip. Engaging Wu Jia Yi breath. Inhale, guide the air travel into the nose through the back or throat down to the lung. And exhalation, guide the air travel out through the back or throat and out to the nose. Oceanic sounds or snoring sound, whatever resonates with you. Breathe. And let it go. And listen to your own breath. And one more deep breath. Inhale, come up to the tabletop position. So open your fingers, start starfish. Press them down on the mat. And press down the knuckles and the wrist. If it's not easy for you, you can lower your forearm on the mat or on some pillow, on the bolster, or some of you choose to use a wall and welcome to use a wall. Okay, whatever resonates with you. Inhale to count, lift your chin, belly down, tailbone into the sky. Exhale to cat, arch your back, tuck your chin, press your belly away from the earth. Inhale to count. If are your chin, belly down, table into sky, and exhale, arch your back, tuck your chin, press your belly away from the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Follow your own breath several times like this on your own and no rush. Okay, one more deep breath, coming back to the tabletop position. Look over to the left shoulder. Now look over to the right shoulder. And now slowly push your hips to the back. Maybe a circle around. Maybe to the right, maybe to the left. Let go some unwanted tension around the lower back and the hips. And let it go. Okay, one more deep breath, coming back to the tabletop position. Now extend your right leg behind you. Now right toes on the floor and gently press the right heel to the back wall a couple of times. Stretch it out to the bottom of feet and check it in how is your right calf. Now welcome to stay here if this resonates with you. And welcome to extend your left hand to the front or not. Belly still into the spine. One more deep breath, arch your back knee to the nose and tuck your chin. Inhale, extend, steady breath. And exhale, arch your back knee to the nose, no rush. Inhale. And exhale. Another three rounds like this on your own and no rush. And once you finish your three rounds, lift the still back leg behind you. Press the right heel to the back wall, right toe pointing to the floor. 
belly into spine. So if you lift up your left hand to the front, that's good too. But notice that you're trying to stretch it out from the left fingertips all the way into the right here. Now welcome to stay here or you can bend the right knee behind you. Now open your left hand, find your right foot behind you. Micro back bend, open heart, open the chest. Steady breath. And if you fall, just come back. Okay, one more deep breath and actually ease hands and down, hands and knee down. Can then count several times to unwind the lower back. And when you're ready, let's find the other side. Extend your left leg behind you, okay? Left toes on the floor and check in. Then. Pause your left heel to the back wall a couple times. How's your calf? How's the bottom of the feet? Now, belly still. Engage with the core, belly into spine. Welcome to extend your right hand to the front or not. And if you have some like the shoulder story around, Play around, maybe just use your hands, touch your head, and that's good too. Okay, one more deep breath, arch your back knee to the nose, tuck your chin. Inhale, extend. Good, and exhale, arch your back knee to the nose. Inhale. And exhale. Another three rounds like this, on your own, no rush. Steady breath. Lots of core right here. And once you finish your three rounds, lift out your back leg behind you. Still belly into spine. If you happen to have your right hand in front of you, stretch it out from the right fingertips all the way into the left heel. Steady breath. Now, welcome to stay here or welcome to bend the left knee behind you. Now, open your right hand, find your left foot behind you. Micro back bend, open heart. Good, one more deep breath and actually ease your hands and knee down. And slowly push your hips to the back. Maybe circle around. Let go of the tension around the lower back. Okay, one more deep breath, coming back to the tabletop position. Let's open the shoulders, left hand on the top of the mat, inhale right hand all the way into the sky. Now from here, visualize, extend your right hand into the sky in the other side. Notice you'll push your left hand away from the right hand. So open the chest, feel the right armpit open. Now bring your right hand, go underneath your left armpit. Allow yourself to sink down right here and any variations will come. Steady breath. And for some of you, if you want to try the head bind, what you can do is open your left hand and rest your left hand behind your lower back. And you can use the back of the right hand, push away from the earth. And now open your left shoulder, just lean more. Good, one more deep breath. And slowly come back, bring your left hand on the top of the mat. Inhale, reopen the right hand all the way into the sky. Open, open the chest. And maybe greatly something, sunshine in your right hand. And slowly roll your right hand down, feel that range of motion. Good, when you're ready, let's find the other side. Inhale, love and all the way into the sky. Open the left chest. From here, press the right hand away from the earth and also extend your left hand into the sky. Open and exhale, left hand go on the initial right. Well, allow yourself to sink down right here and any variations, welcome. Welcome, just rest right here. Or if you want to, find your headline. 
and you can use the back of the left hand, press into the earth and open your right shoulder a little bit more. Good, one more deep breath. Now bring your right hand on top of the mat and bring your left hand, meet your right in the front puppy pose. Slowly just lift right your hips above your knees and curl your hands to the front. And in, in yoga, this is called melting the heart, Anahata Asana. Allow yourself to sink down right here. You can feel lots of stretch around the shoulders, around the armpit. If this is too much for your shoulder, walk in to shorten your distance. You can bring your hands a little bit closer to your head, have a little triangle. Whatever your body allows you to. And if you have some monkeys dancing around your lower back, observe that and let it go. Okay, one more deep breath. Inhale, come up to the tabletop position. Here comes my assistant. <laughs> and tuck your back toes. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, take your time to find your downward dog. Maybe pedal out if that serves you. Or if you want to stretch it out the hamstring, you can lower your knees about two inches toward the mat, allow your hips sink, and push your sit bone all the way to the back wall and lower your heels down. Repeat that several times to unwind the lower back, hamstring, and let it go. And one more deep breath. We all meet at the downward dog. At the bottom, exhale, gaze over, hop or be walk to the top of the mat. Find your right dog position. Red dog position, standing shoulder width apart, bend your knees, now hinge down from the waist. Welcome to great opposite elbows, if I serve you. Nod your head, yes and no, swing side to side. Or elbows rest on the quarter step, that's where you're good to. Just totally let it go. And actually, use your hands on top of the mat. Now slowly walk your hands, maybe to the right, maybe to the left. If you have two books that can support you, and welcome to find them too. Just slowly walk your hands or walk your books around your feet. Let go of the tension. When you're ready, come back to the center. Now press your feet into the bend your knees. Inhale, rise up, come to the Tadasana mountain pose. So mountain pose, Tadasana. So visualize your beautiful mountain. You can pick any mountain that you like. Mount Whitney, Palama Mountain, Laguna Mountain, whatever resonates with you. Standing tall. And notice the shoulders and the hips, the knees, ankles that kind of like on top of each other and chest is gently lifted. Steady breath. And visualize the bottom feet connecting into the earth and also elongate from the base of spine, open up each vertebrae all the way through the crown, all the way to the blue sky. So we all connected with the universe. 
steady breath. So what brought you today's yoga practice? Today's mantra I'd like to share with you. It is written by Louise Hay. So many people know her. And she used to live around here, San Diego County. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Okay. All right, so when you're ready, we're going to stretch it out with the Tadasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, hands up ahead. Soften the shoulders and pinky feet each other. Elongate. And exhale, micro bend and open heart with the cat's arm. Open the chest. Inhale, hands up ahead. Good. And exhale, micro bend and open heart. Gently push your heart and belly forward. Open the cellars. Inhale. Good. And exhale, micro bend and shine your heart. Good. Now inhale, hands up ahead. Now right hand grab the left. Inhale, grow one inch taller. And exhale, gently lean to your right side. And maybe bring your left hand down to create more space. Good, one more deep breath. Inhale up, and let's find the other side. Inhale, grow. And exhale, gently lean to your left. And maybe bring your right hip down to create more space. Good, one more deep breath. Inhale up. And this time, swan dive down, fold it forward. Inhale, half a lift, flat back, neck is long. Checking in, how's your flat back? Visualize there's a pencil between the shoulder blades you want to squeeze. Soften the shoulders and bring the shoulders all the way into the tailbone. Hands can be anywhere, but no weight. You might feel lower back hamstring being stretched. Exhale, plant your hands on top of the mat. Find your downward facing dog. So if Chaturanga is your practice today, you can lower your knees down. That's all warm up with the one leg. Now bring your left knee forward underneath your tummy. Now slowly push your head forward and exhale to low plank elbows into the ribs. Inhale to upper dog, extend your left leg behind you. Open the chest. If it's too much for your lower back, and welcome to lower your hands underneath your shoulders and rest right here, baby cobra. And exhale, tuck your back toes. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, open mouth and exhale. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. Gentle sell your lip. Second round. At the bottom, exhale, gaze over. Welcome to bend your knees. Hop or big wall to the top of the mat. Inhale, half a lift flat back. Neck is long. And exhale, fold it forward. Now press your feet into the bend your knees. Inhale, rise up with your hands above your head. And exhale, hands to the heart center. One more time, inhale, hands up ahead. And exhale, open arm facing to the right side. Gaze over to your right fingertips. Open the chest. Now inhale, hands up ahead. And exhale, open arm facing to the left side. Gaze over to your left fingertips. Good, now inhale, hands up ahead. This time, soften the shoulders and pinky face each other. Exhale, micro bend and open arm. Inhale. And exhale, micro bend and shine your heart. Inhale. And exhale, micro bend and shine your heart. Push your belly forward, open the cellars. Now inhale, hands overhead. This time, interlace your hands together and bring your palm into the sky. Inhale, elongate spine and exhale, gently lean to your right side. 
Maybe bring your left hip down to create more space. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up. That's fine, the other side. Inhale, grow one inch taller, and exhale, chin lean to your left. Maybe bring your right hip down to create more space. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up, and exhale, swung dive down, fold it forward. Inhale, have a lift, flat back, neck is long. Exhale, plant your hands on top of mat. Welcome to find your downward dog if that's your practice. If you done the chaturanga with the one leg, let's visit the other side. Bring your right knee forward underneath your tummy. Now push your hip forward and exhale to low plane. Very important, elbows into the ribs. Inhale to upper dog, extend your right leg behind you, thighs are up, then look forward, soften the shoulders. And exhale, tuck your back to find your downward facing dog. Inhale, open mouth and exhale. And one more time, inhale, open mouth and let it go. And one more time, inhale, open mouth and let it go. Gentle sail your lip. Inhale, right leg high, bend the right knee behind you. Slowly just open your right hip. If you want to circle your right ankle around, welcome to find it. Notice that space. Good, and actually release your right leg down. Let's find the other side. Inhale, left leg high, open your left hip. If you want to circle around your left ankle, welcome to find it. Notice the left hip, left rib cage being stretched. Good, and actually, you should left leg like down. At the bottom, exhale, gaze forward, hop or big wall to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold it forward. Press your feet into the bend your knee. Inhale, rise right up, bring your hands above your head. And exhale, hands to the heart center. One more time, inhale, hands over head. And exhale, open arm facing to the right side. Gaze over to your right fingertips. Maybe this time you can have more space to rotate to right side. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up. Let's find the other side, revisit this rotation. Steady breath. Good, now inhale, hands over head. Notice that space and exhale, micro big bend, open heart, open the chest, open the pectoris major. Inhale. And exhale, micro big bend, open the heart. Inhale. And exhale, micro big bend, open the heart. Now inhale, hands over head. This time we're going to open the tricep. Now bend the left elbow behind you, right hand touch your <laughs> the other one, inhale, elongate the spine, and exhale, gently lean toward your right side. A little bit different sensation. If this is too much for your shoulders, and just be soft with yourself, that's okay. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up, that's fine, the other side. Inhale, grow one inch taller, and exhale, gently lean to your left. Maybe bring your right hip down to create more space. Good, one more deep breath, inhale up, and actually ease your hands on the side of the body. Standing tall, that's open the shoulders, okay? Now bring your shoulders all the way down to six o'clock position. Now bring the shoulders all the way to the back. Now bring your shoulders all the way to your ears. Good, now bring your shoulders all the way to the front, like the T-Rex. <laughs> Now actually ease down to six o'clock. One more time, all the way to the back, open the chest. Now bring the shoulder all the way to your ears and shoulders all the way to the front and bring the shoulders all the way down. Now we're going to reverse. Now shoulders all the way to the front, all the way up to ear, shoulders all the way to the back. Shoulders all the way down, six o'clock. One more time, shoulders all the way to the front. Shoulders all the way to the ears. Shoulders all the way to the back. And shoulders all the way down. And stretch it out. Okay, 
and just have your hands on the side of the IT pen and so they just work your hands like monkeys and so they work your hands all the way into the sky and they just reach your hands into the sky stretch the, the body feel the rib cage being open if you want to add in the rotation around the wrist welcome to find it Open the fascias, open the joints. All right, so are you ready? Now inhale, hands over head. And exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, half a lift flat back. Neck is super long. Exhale, plant your hands on top of mat. Walk into step back or jump back. Find your high plank position. Stay right here. Okay, stay right here. We're not going anywhere. Welcome to lower your knees down if needed. Now stay right here. Shift your weight to the left side just a little bit. Extend your right hand to the front. Steady breath. Good, and actually use your right hand down. That's fine, the other side. Left hand to the front. Good, and actually ease down. Welcome to find your downward dog or chaturanga, your choice. Elbows into the ribs. Inhale to upper dog, bicep off the mat, look forward or find your baby cobra. Exhale, tuck your back toes, find your downward facing dog. Inhale, open mouth and exhale. And one more time, inhale, open mouth and let it go. And one more time, inhale. Open mouth and let it go. And now, gently seal your lip, lower your knees, and get some water. And be ready for the next section.